like just keep keep talking to people even if they don't want to hear what you have to say. Move on to the next person. Yeah, but persistence. But you'll find you'll find someone who's interested in the same thing as you. You'll swap contact info. You'll keep in touch, and then you know eventually they will submit your name. Talk to them. You'll get in. And I guess I'm speaking about networking. Uh, have you tried to perhaps get into the costume department for the legendary back, legendary pictures back Mass Effect movie? That you oh, what? I, I'm trying. Trust me. Once I find out what studio is making that, they're going to be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that it all turns out well and like I can get in there and maybe start working on some costumes or something. I don't know enough to head up anything in costumes. I need to learn so much more, so I would just love to just work on it. Just like have them give me some sculpt to clean up or something and I'd still be like, yay! <laughs> so, you know, it's it's still it's still a long journey. Uh -huh. But you yeah. know what's coming out of that sculpt. Yeah, exactly. So, that's, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> you keep trying. It's the <laughs> You keep trying to. <laughs> we'll all make it together. Uh, this, well, is, this is getting too sad. See? Once again, that's what it's yeah, all about. Let's talk in 30 years when we're all famous and, and rich and we can we can make costumes that are like a million dollars. Oh no, I'm happy to make hats. Thank you. Hey, so <laughs> Hello, my name is Cameron, before you ask. Nice to meet you. You knew she was going to. <laughs> and, um,. I was just wondering, are there any sites or maybe forums or blogs where I can learn to do this stuff? Because I really, really want to make myself like a great box costume or something in time for Comic Con or Halloween or something. I have no idea how to do any of this. Yeah, um, there's an awesome site that I'm going to recommend for you right now if you're not already a member called Replica Prop Forum. And they are awesome. There's like, I mean, the people on there are so good at what they do. Like, I'm blown away by everything that I see on there. And they always talk about, like, step-by-step -step stuff, what they're doing, how they're doing it, what materials they want, like, the general cost. You know, and there, there's people who make, like, the most obscure props you could even think of. And it's not just props, it's also armor and stuff like that, too. You know, you can go to the different, the different sections of the forum and find out, um, depending on what you're looking for, if you're looking for, like, replica guns. There's, you know, uh, there's that section. If you're looking, uh, I don't know how many Iron Man suits I've seen on there. It's probably more, like, than I have fingers and toes. Like, I see <laughs> so many people making replica Iron Man suits and, like, how they do it, their materials, their techniques that they use, and they are so friendly, and it's such a great place for those kinds of techniques, uh, if that's what you're looking for. And, um, like I said, you know, down to, like, the small circle, replica prop, like, I've seen somebody recreate the um, box of stuff from the Born Identity, like down to the prescription of contacts that he had <laughs> in the thing. Like they were, they were like zooming in. It was like CSI. They're like, okay, enhance. What's his, what's his, what's his correction? And like, as close as they can get it. Actually, um, Adam Savage from MythBusters posts on there all the time, and he's like, he uh, like, and it's great. People will be like, hey, Adam, I like that toolbox that I saw in one episode. How did you make it? He's like, here's how I made it. So that's my biggest suggestion for you is to go there and just like work to your heart's content and just read and read and read because there's tutorials and there's more than you can hope for on that site. And also there there's a the site. Uh, replica prop forum. Just search for that. It, it started as a Star Wars replica site and then it just exploded into all sorts of crazy stuff. So check it out. It's awesome. Um, there's also uh, FX Lab. There's another one for more like sculpting tutorials kind of things. Like if you want. So that's more of like the prop building, but if you want like the appliance, special effects, foam latex kind of stuff, which there's not as many as there should be, and I'd like to see that change because there needs to be a lot more tutorials for that online that are just like readily available. Like this is how you do it, this is how you don't mess it up. So that's number one, don't mess it up. So it's really easy. But FX Lab has some has some okay tutorials, and if you troll the forums, like Steve Wang posts on there, and he did like the... Yeah. Hmm? Lurk, not troll. Oh, lurk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, you want to lurk. Don't troll. Yeah, don't troll. That'd be rude if people cry. It'd probably be me. I'd probably be like, no, we're not. So, um, yeah, they have some cool stuff in there. Like I said, like Steve Wayne, he did like the dragons from um, Rain of Fire, which I know is a terrible movie, but those dragons were cool, right? I'm sorry. He also did that giant dragon sculpture. Yeah, he did the Kerrigan sculpture at BlizzCon, if you've ever been there. He did that too, which was also amazing. So, there you go. FX Lab. Forum and uh, replica, replica prop.
Rep with a prop for him. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi. 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 Everyone, look at that. <laughs> it's an awesome octopus. Is that an octopus? That's yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, Thank you. Um, so, I spoke to you guys earlier. I actually have an interest in building a, uh, a Kerrigan costume. Yeah. And you said that there's two ways. One that will make me want to kill myself, and the other one that won't. So yep. I wanted to ask you what those two ways are. <laughs> okay. The way that would make you want to kill yourself is that if you do a body cast, and you sculpt the entire costume on your body cast, and then cast it out of foam latex. That's actually already what I was considering. So really? Well, you're going to want to kill yourself. But it's fun. <laughs> it's been nice You can showing. do it. You can do it. I mean, there's ways to do it. The worst part is that foam latex is incredibly expensive, and it's incredibly easy to mess up. So I think, but like, you can totally do it. It's completely doable. If you have the will, there's definitely a way. And you can do hand cast, you can do the finger cast, you can do the, you can do the whole thing, and it wouldn't be out of the question, I would say. Awesome. So how do I not want to kill myself? What's the other um, thing? You can do, I, like, I was playing around with the idea. I mean, if you wanted to just do it, you could probably do some kind of spandex with um, print, like prints on it, but like some kind of 3D. Like I've seen, I've seen them do it at different companies. Like um, you know, like walking with dinosaurs. Like walking with dinosaurs, those are actually half of them are cloth, and that cloth looks like scales. And I don't actually know how to do it, but I would like research and see, like, oh, how can I make this cloth look like these scales and hide the seams and all of that. And that would be another interesting way of doing it. It probably look really nice. It'd just be different. So different look. Yeah, different look. The hardest part for you is going to be making that wing harness. That's going to be really hard. Yes. Yeah. How, I would, how would you I, make inside? How would I do that? Yeah. I would I would build the frame out of aluminum first, and I would probably use um, uh, foam, like L two hundred foam or something, to, or something to brace it. And you, I mean. Since it's such a skin tight bodysuit, it's just be really hard. You might have to just like use aluminum, pad it with as much as you can to not be uncomfortable, okay. and then just like brace it to your back and somehow hide it and make it as light as possible. I, it's gonna take some trial and error, but it's totally doable. Okay. All right. I'll let you know how I do it. Yeah. Can't wait up here. Awesome. Thank you. Hi. My name is Steve. I got a quick Hi, question for you. Um, so you guys have a fair idea of what you're doing. You mentioned three to six months, but how many man hours would you say it took for each of those costumes? Um, uh, man hours? Or woman hours. Uh, or <laughs> yeah, Seth, Seth, does Seth, you, Holly, Seth, Holly Seth. lived in her house, and we, we usually went over to Holly's garage. So Seth, how long do you think you went to Holly's house? Um, well, at first I had school, and so I was only over there on the weekend, and then I took time off of school, and we were over there every day from like 7 o'clock at night till 5 in the morning every day because we had to, we had to get stuff done and yeah, and uh, like most of the time actually, there was, there was most of the time we were over there. I think um, when we were there from 5 in the morning, or from 7 to 5 in the morning, it was two months straight that we did that. Yeah, and it was, um, I took like a month off of work to finish the last time, so I was just working all day. And then, you know, there was Comic-Con and after that and all that, so. Yeah. Thank you for your fantastic job. <laughs> Thank you. You're fantastic. <laughs> hey, uh, name's Ryan. Just Ryan. as hobbyist, how many times have you super glued something to yourself? On purpose or by accident? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I've got I've all kinds of different Hot glue, barge, barge is fun. Barge is like super toxic. Remember barge, if you make costumes, that glue is amazing. It's but you have to buy it online because I think it's like it's legal. legal. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like legal glues, then um, it works really well. Like look it up, barge, B-A-R-G-E. Um, straps, anything, you can glue anything with it. But you just have to be careful because it's legal. Uh, there's, there's been more than one time, <laughs> where, to answer your question, yes, there's been more than one time where I've been super gluing something or a prop or whatever, and it's just that moment where we're like, do I have super glue on my hand? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and, and then also, um, another to answer your question is we used a lot of hot glue, and we all didn't leave Holly's garage without multiple hot glue burns, oh. whether it be, oh no, I stepped on it, oh no, the stuff hooked in, to, oh god, it's hot, my finger! <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I still don't have feeling here <laughs> from a, a it's hot glue burn. It's true. Um, so I, I did glue myself. Um, it was horrible. It charred. It was 
terrible. It was but, gross, and I like to show it to people. Um, <laughs> wow. Oh, see it. Yeah. You got pictures. So the answer is yes. <laughs> Lots of times. That's How many of you? Question. Yeah, I played Warhammer 40k. It's oh, jeez. My fingers up. Exacto knives trying to get the models in. Those Exacto knives. They'll, Man, they'll get you. They're vicious. Yeah. They are. They're ruthless. I mean, they're, they're more dangerous than like flame war. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Hello, uh, my name is William Dewey. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, so am I. Um, are you? I am. He just I'm moved. Sorry. No, That's hang on. It's just us talking right now. <laughs> 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 what, what suburb are you from? Are you from the city? Um, well, I lived in Minneapolis most of my life. I'm okay. currently living in St. Louis Park. Oh, really? Yes. Really? You should come over to my house for a bagel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here at some point in time, we could like go up to the front and so take some pictures. We should do that. Oh, yeah, let's yeah. Once the panel's over, you can all come up. And we can all right, uh, I'll keep time. Like, let's say five, ten minutes before, we'll, we'll get everyone we'll from rush the. the <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. Get it, you can get we'll a sweet set it, We'll set it like uh, ten minutes before it's over, and we'll bring everyone up. Cool. And I just yeah. freeze stuff with myself. And and yeah, then, it'll be fun. Yeah, we'll do that for sure. That'd be sweet. The other uh, thing is, if you guys could choose any costume from TVs, movie shows, games, anything that you could make, unlimited resources, what would it be? That is a really good question. Yeah. I'm going to go last. from Baldur's Gate. It's amazing. And if I could find like this Mr. Clean, burly guy, like bald head, I would make that armor in a forge. And just like, see, because I, oh, she knows that man. Do you know that, what do you want a mince costume? <laughs> if you might, like, I, just for a photo shoot, just for like makeup. Because like, seriously, that would be so cool. A whole Baldur's Gate party. Yeah. Okay, that's not that. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, my answer is kind of silly, but, um, so you said unlimited time and resources. Uh, I and it, is it for me or for anybody? Just I'm gonna say it's for me because that's how I'm gonna answer the question. <laughs> um, I have loved Fist of the North Star since I was a wee lad, and I would if I had unlimited time to become a bodybuilder, I would do ten shows. <laughs> I, I have honestly considered getting the seven scars tattooed on my chest. Like you can get like plastic surgery. And oh stuff no, or I would I would do it a second without question. That would. Not even, not even a chance. And I would make it so my shirt could rip off like I'm really mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it so cool. I, know, I, I gotta write this down. By the, way, by the way, that's another costume tip. You should really dress for your body type. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You sort of limited time for some. You need to say miracles. <laughs> Then I go. I I cannot stand the people that don't know what character they're being. And 
unless unless it's for like a photo shoot and they're a model or something like that. But 